Sequence is our explainer. So it's a new product for us. We've been doing uh, beta type applications for a little over three years. We released it to production at the beginning of this year. So now it's uh, based on magnetic levitation. Okay. So in the movers themselves, we have the permanent magnet array. So it's a, like I said, it's a passive mover. Inside the bumper, we have an ID. So on power up, we'll read the position of the movers, and we can also uniquely identify one. So we have that complete track and trace, even through a power cycle. So when we power up, we can know where the movers were when we power down. If someone moves a mover, we can detect that it's out of position and move it back into position and resume production. So in the tiles themselves, the second part of the, the tiles, so they're 240 millimeters square, and there's all the electronics for generating the magnetic fields. So what that allows us to do is we can raise the mover zero to five millimeters above the surface. We can move an X and Y up to two meters per second with a 1G acceleration. We can tilt an X and Y, so now that gives us anti-slashing capabilities as we're transporting open liquids. We can also rotate the mover plus and minus five degrees as we're moving in the XY direction. And then when we get to a fixed location, like we do over at this station here, we can rotate continuously uh, 360 degrees up to 600 RPMs. When you do leave that 360 degree rotation, you do have to be one of the 90 degree increments, but I can come in, index 90 degrees, and drive out to the next station. One of the big benefits we're seeing with the X-Planer now is it gives us this free 2D movement. Contactless design, so since the movers are levitating, there's no, no mechanics to wear, and from a hygienic standpoint, we can cover the tile surface in here. We've got a vinyl overlay, but you could put like a half millimeter uh, thick sheet of stainless over it. And we also have stainless movers, so now you've got a completely hygienic system. We're seeing lots of interest in a lot of different packaging type applications along with assembly and also um, some like micro uh, interlogistics, micro fulfillment type applications.